Here we are at the first stop on our nature walk. Take a look at this tree and tell me what you notice. Look way up. You most likely noticed that there are a lot of holes. Any guesses what might have made them and why? They were made by Whistler's largest woodpecker, which makes the biggest woodpecker holes, called the pileated woodpecker. You may also have noticed that many of the holes are rectangular and they almost look like they could have been made by humans, but they're not. These rectangular holes are characteristic of the pileated woodpecker who digs them to find food like ants or other insects. These feeding excavations are so extensive that they often attract other birds. Other woodpeckers, as well as house wrens, may come and feed there. Pileated woodpeckers also make holes to use for a nest. However, they only use their nest for one year and then they abandon them, providing homes for other animals like owls, tree nesting ducks, and flying squirrels. You could say that pileated woodpeckers are like contractors that other animals rely on to build their homes for them. As we move along the path, I want to draw your attention to another tree with a lot of holes in it. You will see that these holes are much smaller and closer together. Do you have any guesses what might have made these holes and why? Several people have guessed that the holes are caused by insects. However, they are not. They are made by a red-breasted sap sucker looking for sap. Sap suckers eat insects, mostly ants and spiders. However, as their name indicates, they rely on sap as their main food source. Just like people who tap maple trees to make maple syrup, these birds drill their wells in early spring. Like with pileated woodpeckers, many other animals rely on sapsucker holes for food. The rufous hummingbird is closely associated with the red-breasted sapsucker. It nests near sap wells and may even follow the woodpecker around during the day, feeding at the wells the sapsucker leaves flowing. As we move along to the next stop, I invite you to notice how many different colors you can observe along the way. 